Hi everybody and welcome back to the second part of the cat in the hat. I think when we left it the cat had just come in with a box so we'll see what happens. We'll go from that part now. And then he ran out and then fast as a fox the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big redwood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the, bo the, the hook. You will see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, these things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a good game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, no, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump, down the wall, in the hall. Thing two, thing one. They ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Those things ran about with big bumps, kick, jumps and kicks, with hoops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that I play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, oh, look, Look! And our fish shook with fear. Mm, your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Or oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Or well, she will not like to find it this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can think of something to do. You'll have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net and it came down with a plop and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. Not like our game. Oh dear, said the cat. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. <clears throat> then he sh shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come and she'll find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up my playthings and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish and he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with a tip his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us two, did you have any fun? Tell me, 
what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what would you do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? Thank you for listening to the story today. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye.